Hi, I'm Al, and in this edition of Summit Racing Quick Flicks, I'm going to talk about cylinder head fasteners. Today we're going to cover the differences between cylinder head bolts and cylinder head studs. So when you upgrade your cylinder heads on your engine project, you may also want to look into upgrading your cylinder head fasteners. If you look at summitracing.com, you're going to come across two different options. You have cylinder head bolts and cylinder head studs. Besides the initial obvious of price difference between the two and the fact that a bolt is threaded through your cylinder head into your block, applying the clamping force while a stud is actually threaded into the engine block first, then the cylinder head is dropped over the cylinder head studs and a nut applies a clamping force to the cylinder head. There's another force that's actually going on and that is stretch. If you take a look at the drawing here, when you are threading a cylinder head bolt into the engine block, there's, of course, the downward force, the clamping force, that's happening as the threads pull the bolt tighter against the cylinder head. But because you're turning that cylinder head bolt, there's a horizontal force, a twisting action, being applied to that bolt. And sometimes that can actually lead to skewed torque numbers. Now when you have a cylinder head stud, because you've already twisted and threaded that stud into the engine block, that has eliminated that twisting action from going on. The nut at the top, that does the twisting action and applies the clamping force along the entire length of the stud. Now you may ask, which of these is going to be best for my project? Well, if you're looking at your engine project and you're looking at your engine bay and you find your engine bay a little cluttered, you have a brake booster and some other components that may be in the way, you may want to consider using uh, mm -hmm. cylinder head bolts and that's because the bolts allow you to easily take off your cylinder head. If you were to use cylinder head studs, you have to make sure that there's enough clearance to lift the cylinder head completely off of the studs, not hitting anything else like a brake booster. If you find yourself in a racing application, you may want to consider using cylinder head studs because when you tear down your engine to check on the valve train as well as the cylinders and their condition, cylinder head studs actually retorque much better and much more consistently than cylinder head bolts do. So a couple other tips that I want to throw at you whenever you're torquing down cylinder heads using any type of fastener. The number one thing is make sure you use a torque wrench. The reason why is because cylinder head manufacturers have gone ahead and made certain torque specifications and you want to make sure you follow those accurately. The other thing is make sure you use some sort of torque assembly loop. The reason why is you're trying to reduce as much friction of, on the bolt itself. When you're setting a torque specification, you're measuring the clamping force of the cylinder head to the engine block using that cylinder head fastener. So that's why you want to make sure you always use some sort of torque assembly loop. The last recommendation I have for you is whenever you're torquing down your cylinder heads, you want to make sure that you work from the inside out, starting with the bolt that is underneath the valve cover, then working your way towards the, the exhaust side. And you're going to go ahead and alternate until you get to the end of the cylinder head. Now, the final thing I have to say is to make sure that you follow the manufacturer's recommendations when it comes to torquing down your cylinder head, regardless of which type of fastener you use. Most manufacturers will recommend that you do an, in an initial pass, setting the torque setting to about 30 pounds. Then you're going to increase to 60 foot-pounds, 90 foot-pounds, and then reach that final torque specification. Now, if you have any, any other questions about torque specs, cylinder heads, cylinder head fasteners, engines in general, I'd love to hear them. Please feel free to leave a question in the comment section below. Hit subscribe to stay up to date on our latest QuickFlix videos and watch our other videos. Thanks for watching.